Shakespeare in the Arb is a classic Ann Arbor summer staple. Currently, they're in their 16th season, so I'm here in the Arb to check it out. I am the artistic director of Shakespeare in the Arb. It was my vision that started this project uh, back in 2001. Your O's are passed, and now subscribe your name. What we do is we spend our first week of rehearsal just trying things, just wandering around in the Arb and trying things. A woman, within the term of three years, I found Shakespeare in the Arb last summer through a friend of mine who had been doing it for several years and I just didn't have a place I needed to be in the summer and thought what better to do than come outside. You shall be welcome, Adam, to my court. Uh, I feel like the audience is so much more involved in the show and they get to enter this world and we get to be a part of the world too and create it along the way. So it's as we move from scene to scene, we're, we're singing madrigals and we are, you know, we're playing with them. Maybe we're joking with the audience and that just makes it so more interactive and so much different than a dark theater where you don't see any of the people that you're performing to. We must suspense. The biggest challenges have to do with the weather. The things that are outside of the reality I'm trying to create because I'm trying to create this Elizabethan world and really have the audience believe they're there. To parlay with the sole inheritor of all perfections that a man may owe. Mm. When I asked Kate why she picked Love's Labor's Lost, this is what she had to say. Well, this is a very special play. It's really quite an interesting study of male-female relationships and women rule in this play. Women are the smart ones and so that's good. <laughs> I have a lot of talented women. Um, I try to pick plays that are going to give women a lot of opportunities, which is not easy in Shakespeare because he didn't have women. Um, but this play has uh, some very strong women's roles. Love's Labor's Lost is only running for the month of June, so come on down and check it out. For Wolf TV in Ann Arbor, I'm Jess Knight.